That kidney represented by the tissue, renal tissue. Yeah, that's not kidney. That is something which uh, I should say projects into kidney. Something which is uh, it may be that in real world by the kidney. Something in real world by the kidney. And this is something it is to be to be treated to be explained. So. What is it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Renal sinus. Healthy. Mm -hmm. Healthy. Ah, no. Kulikov, he remembers the name. That's another provocation. Renal sinus, my dear God. That is renal sinus sinus renalis. If you want a kind of reality which is allowed to be surrounded by the renal tissue, renal sinus. And after that, another question. And what is contained? What fuels of these renal sinus? Look at them. Mm. And, they will, and they will contain all these structures which you begin to enumerate. These structure, tubular structure, by the way. In uh, its uh, commencement, uh, this structure, it surrounds uh, this portion of, how do we call these uh, part of the nidala? Mm. Pyramids, quite correct. Pyramis. And after that, it will be the apex of the pyramids which projects, which projects into this sinus, mm -hmm. renal sinus, that is this apex. Mm -hmm. And it will be surrounded, it may be said, that it enters the uh, tuber, large tuber, which is, uh, it is the first, uh, if you want, extra renal, so to say, located outside of the kidney proper, speaking of the kidney tube, the first collector of the urine. Oh. Before the urine, it was conducted uh, by the ducts contained uh, in these pyramids, numerous ducts, and these ducts, they open into these first, first, first compartment of the excretory ducts of the kidney. And it is called a minor Minor calyx, another minor calyx, other minor calyx, other minor calyx, <coughs> and after that, uh, the uh, calyces renales. After that, uh, they join to form the greater conductor, greater calyx, calyx Meyer. And after that, uh, these two or three greater calyces, they join to form pelvis, renal pelvis. pelvis, and after that renal pelvis, it leaves uh, the renal sinus, and uh, in uh, the region of the hilum, it will be urine, which will be followed up uh, to the urinary blood. But it's not the unique content of the <coughs> renal pelvis. Renal pelvis, sorry, sorry, it's correct. Renal sinus, sorry. Renal sinus, like that, contains the minor calyces, the greater calyces, renal pelvis, and all of them, they are urine conducting structures. What else? Look at it. They are visible. The other structures which feel the same uh, renal sinus. Papilla, 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 it's uh, not a container, every of them, in the sinus, papilla, 
regards the silence, projects into silence, opening, opening into this minor carriage. Papyrus, if you want, that is wall. That is wall of the renal sinus represented by the papilla or by the borders of the renal tissue between the papilla. Mm -hmm. What else is contained? But here also, you, you must understand after all these uh, classes, you must understand that is, the, that is the only site, the only part of uh, the uh, kidney where uh, they may be conducted to the kidney. There shows the uh, nerves, uh, that is the uh, hilum of the kidney. So, uh, no vessels uh, which would uh, enter the kidney here or there or there or there. That means uh, arteries, uh, it will enter sinus and divide there. Veins, uh, they will form in you know, the sinus and after that they will leave the sinus. The lymphatic vessels, uh, they also, they will be located in sinus between these greater calluses, minor calluses. Nervous plexus, nerves, uh, small, thin nerves uh, um, providing the innovation <coughs> of the kidney. They also will be there. And between uh, all these structures, uh, this yellow tissue. Yes. Is in uh, other species of an organism between the structures of, of these vascular nature, or nervous nature, or muscular nature, what fills is the spaces between them? Tissue. Not only connective tissue, Fats. connective tissue that is too great, uh, great uh, in its uh, sense, uh, the structure. Fatty tissue, oh, yellow. Mm. Yeah. And like that, no any free cavity, free space. Mm. So, calyces, uh, pelvis, branches of arteries, roots uh, of the veins, uh, lymphatics, nervous structures, and between them, uh, uh, between them, feeling. The, it may be said the free spaces. It will be fatty tissue. That's important. Important this notion of uh, renal uh, sinus being, uh, so to say, surrounded by the renal tissue. Why? Well, it is uh, visible the uh, kidney, properly speaking. So somewhere, let it be x ray gram. So somewhere it is localized uh, tumor. But this tumor, so it may be situated nearer to this surface, this one, just out of this surface, or some deeper, or deeper in uh, the mid distance between this surface and posterior surface, for example, or nearer to the posterior surface. At the X-ray gram, it's not visible. So I can't uh, uh, identify the location. Because uh, it's only projection of these pathological structures. But this pathological structure, if we understand uh, uh, this mode of arrangement of the kidney, this tumor, it may be directly inside uh, the renal tissue, or it may be in the sinus, in this renal sinus. But then, if it is renal tissue, then I'll associate uh, this tumor with the kidney, properly speaking, with its own tissue. If it is in the renal sinus, ah, oh, sorry, sinus does not contain the renal tissue. So it will be tumor, which may be explained, I simplify the situations, which, it, uh, which may be vascular in its region, nervous in its region, lymphatic, or it may be tumor of the connective tissue. So contents of the renal sinus, it will be kidney proper speaking, its own tissue. No. See the uh, renal sinus, uh, our idea of its uh, existence, of its nature, it's important clinically. What else? How do you call these uh, slide? Cortex. Cortex. Yes. cortex, renal cortex. Oh, after that, uh, something between uh, the pyramids. Column. 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 And uh, in the best way, 
Yeah, well, we need uh, to feel uh, this structure you know, with a certain, uh, with a certain, uh, with a certain components of the kidney, I should say. Uh, what is what is teaching is uh, structural and functional unit in the kidney. Nephron. Nephron. Nephrons. And by the way, now what is it? Two. Yeah, I mean, uh, what is it? Structural and functional unit. To reabsorb. Secrete and filter. I, explain, I, I repeat once again that it is the minimal, which may be said, simplifying goals, that is the minimal, minimal model of these organ, which may be taken as an example in its structure, example of the structure of this organ, of the whole organ, in its totality, as an example of this function, which will be used in our attempt to analyze how this organ functions how it is arranged. And nephron, it is, uh, if you want, a reflection of this mode of principle of arrangement of the kidney. I studied nephron. I studied all the components of the nephron. And it will be quite enough to understand the mode of functioning of the kidney. What is it, kidney? Kidney, uh, kidney filtrates the, um, the water with the salt. Where does it uh, it uh, does uh, it uh, takes place? In uh, yeah. the nephron. In the nephron. Corpusculum renis, renal blood. Corpusculum renis. What is corpusculum renis? Part of the nephron. So this process, it may be studied in all the details how it takes place. What is uh, <coughs> <coughs> What is the role of every structure which participates uh, in uh, these uh, corpusculum renis, renal body, as part of the nephron? After that, uh, the reabsorption of the important part of the kidney, reabsorb, what I'm telling, of the important part of the primary urine. And uh, they are, um, uh, they are, they are, they are, they are. They are important, these numerals. I'd like uh, us to know them and uh, to understand them. The amount of the primary urine. That means the amount of the liquid which will be filtrated via all the nephrons, so to say. Uh, to another lecture. Oh. No, one of the lectures, it has been uh, made already. Respiratory yeah. system, that will be another. No, a uh, lecture that was killed, my dear friend. what is it? It is the blind commencement of the canal of the nephron. How do we call it? Bauman capsules. We know something. Okay, after that, it will be the proximal part of the canal of the nephron. That will be the loop of loop hand. It will be the distal. After that, it will be opening into collecting. Collecting Okay. 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 Let it be red. This structure, it can't function without the material and the venous supply. Vessel, which uh, is uh, rather important in its uh, size, in its diameter, which ramifies uh, and uh, it uh, forms uh, glomerulus. I know what is glomerulus. That is system of capillaries. <coughs> Only in other tissues, uh, these capillaries uh, they are represented as uh, a kind of plane uh, network, and here they are condensated. Oh, they are collected forming uh, these bad of capillaries. Yeah. Glomerulus, capillary network proper or not for the kidney. After that it will be the efferent material. Yeah. 
That is ETL, so to say, is the last in the ETL bed in the system of the ETL branch. After that, uh, we are calling it the afferent, so afferent vessel, afferent, so to say, KN2. That is efferent vessel. But I'm calling it always ETL. And that is the problem to be understood. We, um, we, 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 we call this uh, mode of formation of uh, uh, vascular bed in the kidney rete mirabile, like a notion, rete mirabile, miracular network of the kidney. Miracular, miracular, miracular. Something quite extraordinary. Oh, miracle. Quite different to mode of um, organization of uh, other microvascular barrier in other in other objects. Why? What is the problem? Capillaries. Let it be any other neutral, neutral organ, uh, muscle, fascia, intestine, etio, ramifies, capillary bed, blood capillary, then you lose your As a transporting venous blood from the microvascular bed. What is the, the case of the kidney? Etio, capillary, Oh, artery. Oh. Artery. Artery. Atrial. Atrial. Again, etiol. And after that, this etiol, it will ramify. Capillaries, double capillary network. And only after that, it forms your vein. The vein. That's all. Quite particular fissure in the organization of blood supply of the kidney. And without these fissure, the kidney it can't function. It wouldn't be able to perform the functions which are all for it. What for? That is the first capillary bed, that's a glomerulus. After that, this ETL, it will ramify, as I told you, ramify, and these capillaries, they will surround they will surround the canal of the nephron, including the uh, loop of the canal. And after that, it will be the venules. Watch for. And in the nephron, they are reflected all other phenomena which are which compose uh, this uh, formation of urine here in these uh, glomerulus via the epithelium which uh, covers uh, these uh, glomerulus, which is uh, the external wall of uh, this capsule of bone. If I uh, take in account, if I um, try to estimate the total amount of fluid which will be filtrated uh, in this capsule, it will be and your kidneys, your kidneys, they make it all. All the way here. In 24 hours, 24 hours, this amount of filtrated liquid will be 150 liters. Mm. This. And after that, what will be excreted finally? via the urethra, via the urethra, after that there will be the bladder, and finally urethra. One liter and a half, something about two liters. And where they are? The remainder. Reabsorbed. Reabsorbed. And how, and how much is it, this amount of reabsorbed liquid? 148 liters will be reabsorbed well in this capillary bed, in this secondary capillary bed, and 150 liters will be filtrated yeah, from these capillaries. Uh -huh. But it's necessary to provide this ability to filtrate so great amount of liquid. 
and it may be made only under these conditions. To be able to filtrate these primary urine, it's necessary to create in these capillaries the greatest pressure, blood pressure. Mm. And under the action of the blood pressure, the liquid, it will leave the capillary bed, and by the way, the walls of these <coughs> capillaries, they are extremely thin. The capillaries in other organs, they are also too thin. I mean, their walls, the thickness of their walls, they are very thin. They are the endothelial cells, unicellular, by the way, layer. What else? Somewhere I'll find uh, the so-called uh, pericytes of the connective tissue cells with the particular properties, and that's all. But, uh, and you'll see it in histology. Mm -hmm. That is the wall of the usual ordinary capillary. That is the endothelial cell. Well, that's another endothelial cell, but it's a uh, nucleus. Uh, it it uh, hasn't been cut. Uh, nucleus, it is uh, either uh, some lower or uh, higher. Two endothelial cells. Uh, well, after that, uh, that's histo basal membrane, and it may be found the pericyte with uh, its own growth. What is it, uh, the uh, endothelium in the capillary of the kidney? Capillary? Let it be. The nucleus? Yeah. And after that? Opening. 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 It is fenestrated. It facilitates, uh, enormously, it facilitates the passage, the transport of the fluid from into. And that is feature. We find no uh, so great number of uh, organs uh, with uh, the capillaries of this nation. And that's why in histology you will differentiate, you will distinguish these fenestrated endothelium. Endothelium with the fenestra, with the window. Uh, Finish straight to the kidney. Uh, uh, what else? Another organ, is, uh, which is also characterized uh, by uh, these particular phenomena, it, uh, these micro microvascular beds in this organ, it is also called uh, miracular network. But mode of arrangement of these miracles in other organs will be, will be different. And you know what is it, this organ? Artery. Capillaries. Vein. Capillaries. Vein. Other mode of... Oh, uh, intestine. Ah. Yes. Uh, what do you mean, intestine? Hepatic part of it. That will be correct. Artery, capillaries are in the intestinal wall. The vein in the... System of the hepatic part of vein. And then liver. Where is it? Liver. 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 Hepatic vein. vein. No. So say uh, transporting from the liver. Correct. Oh, that's under the action of the greatest suppression. And uh, as a rule, uh, me also, I, am, I take uh, this example, great suppression. What is the blood pressure in uh, our um, uh, brachial artery? So as a rule, it is uh, um, estimated uh, with these... Uh, um, uh, uh, sweet no manometer. Switch oh. man man manometer. <laughs> 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 80, 120. Oh, well, well, but uh, this technique, how to call it in English? Oh. The estimation of the blood pressure. No, how does it work? Phenometer. How does it work? No, no, no. It's not this kind of thing. 
Да вообще, даже по-русски, как, как мы называем метод измерения давления? Просто измерение давления. Тонометрия. Фанометр? Забыл, забыл. He wants a process. Тонометрия. So I say that I try to measure the blood pressure. And what's the other numerals? In a contraction of the myocardium. 120, Why they don't dilate? They resist. What was the minimal pressure? 80. 70 to 80. This pressure is in these tiny capillary also. 70 millimeters. Oh. The pressure which is your characteristic for the great artery, thick artery. And the pressure in these sinus capillaries with the unicellular and fenestrated epithelium. After a certain investigator, uh, these neural is um, 70 milliliters. Uh, they, they believe that it is somehow so nearer to the 50 milliliters, but even 50 milliliters for these capillaries that is the greatest neural. And that's why it is able to filtrate so this great amount of fluid. And all these phenomena, these processes, its mechanisms, they may be studied in single nephron. Everything is in it. Mm -hmm. And then they exist on history, always history. They exist because, of, ah, because in the kidney, It may be said everything depends on the blood pressure. Mm -hmm. They exist in the kidney. The mechanisms which are able to regulate our circulation of blood in the whole organism, in the system of vessels. They exist on the hormones participating in this control of blood circulation. And that's why in our trouble of this system of regulation, For blood pressure. And that's why it exists. The kidney dependent hypertony, hypertony, hypertonic disease, disease which is characterized by the abnormally increased by pressure. When uh, in your patients uh, you will find uh, the pressure 200. <coughs> 200, 100, and diastolic, 120, or 180, 100. Higher. It may depend on the abnormality in the functions of these enzyme-dependent structures regulating the general common circulation in kidney And uh, these hormones, uh, they are produced in this side, oh. used in this side, uh, between uh, these uh, two vessels. Uh. Mm. Histologically, you will start to eat. Uh. So even the hormonal endocrine activities of the kidney, they also, they may be described, they may be studied, they may be analyzed. Uh. If I take, uh, as an example, nephron, representative uh, of the whole kidney, And uh, then uh, this reabsorption, the reabsorption and uh, the exchange in salts, it takes place uh, in uh, the canal of the nephron and in this loop. Uh, and if I uh, know these mechanisms, I know the mechanism of the function of the whole key. That's nephron. 
And yeah. after that, well, so uh, these are the structures you know, which compose uh, the renal tissue. After that, they will, they were, um, it were, they were cortex, pyramids, cortex. columns, and it is necessary. It would be better if you, are, if we are able to do it, to put in pyramids, in cortex, the structures of participating in, uh, in uh, this nephron. So what is, what is it cortex? What does it contain? It may contain these Mama. arteries, it may contain uh, Mama uh, Mama uh, control spirum, it may contain these, these, these. What is contain? What composes these pyramids? What compose them? It's necessary to know. Certainly that it will be strengthened uh, by your studies uh, in histology. After histo, you will understand the kidney much better. That's something. But on the preparation, uh, we need uh, to to demonstrate the structures which are enumerated. Dr. Nisha. Yes, Михаил Ильич, вы тоже готовы? Значит, доктор Ниша – это моя студентка, которая, да, которая может помочь вот в демонстрациях, в каких-то объяснениях и так далее. Окей. А, да. Хорошо. Да.